This is Microsoft Project MVP Sam Huffman welcoming you to another of the Microsoft Project User Group's Tips Sessions. Today's tip, create a sequence analysis view. It is often difficult to identify all of the schedule issues possible in a project. Some views help a little, like the network diagram, but few will assist as much as the view I will build in this session. My sequence analysis view is a combination view. That's a view that has a split screen. The upper portion is called the primary view, and the bottom pane is referred to as the details pane. The relationship between these is what allows us to analyze and troubleshoot quickly. First, select the task tab. Now I will take us through this build step by step from here. In the view group on the task tab, there's a drop down just to the right of the Gantt chart button. Click it and project will show you the built-in views and other commands. At the bottom of the list is the more views command. Click it. This brings up the more views dialog. This dialog shows all of the views in Microsoft Project. We're creating a new view so on the right hand side click on the new button. This will bring up the Define New View box. We're creating a combination view, so select that and then click on OK. We now have the view definition available for editing. The name of this view, or my view that I like to call it anyway, is Sequence Analysis. The primary view, and again this is my preference, is I like to see the detail Gantt on top. The detail Gantt is designed to show uh, slipping and critical path and if tasks can continue to slip or not. The details pane that I prefer is called the relationship diagram. The relationship diagram will show the immediate predecessor and the immediate successor for any task in your list. Make sure that Show in Menu is checked, and then OK the dialog. This returns you to the More Views dialog. Note that Sequence Analysis is now in the list of views. Click on Apply. And here's the new view. I'll choose the second task here so that we can see that even though I selected the second task in the view at the top, the predecessors and successors show in the bottom view. Now the selected task is in the center, immediate predecessor is to the left, immediate successor is to the right. You use this view by selecting tasks, doing the analysis in the bottom pane. Once you've edited or changed, made sure your sequencing is correct, go to the next task and then the next task until you're done with your, your task list. To see any task detail that's appearing in the bottom pane, just click on the task and then again in the task tab on the properties group click on information and project will tell you what you need to know. Predecessors, resources, and other things such as if there is a constraint or not on the task. When you're done with your analysis, right-click in the Detail Gantz graphic and in the resulting list that you see, the very bottom is Show Split and there's a check mark in front of it. If you click Show Split again, you're back to the Detail Gantz full screen. To find your brand new custom view, return to the view group, the drop down by the Gantt chart, 
and you'll see your brand new custom analysis view listed at the top of the views. I hope you found this tip helpful. Here's how you can reach out to me. Thank you for watching. Click the link to join MPUG and access live webinar training sessions. Hundreds of on-demand sessions are available 24-7.